One of the best features of Elementor Pro that they left out of the free version is the ability to take your saved templates and inject them other places in your theme or content. Now, fortunately, I've discovered not one, but two different workarounds we can use to get the exact same functionality in the free version of Elementor. The first method uses Gutenberg blocks, and the second uses classic WordPress shortcodes. And between the two, it should cover pretty much any situation where you want to inject content. All right, let me show you how it works. The Gutenberg block method is the cleanest if you have this one available. It's just the easiest method. And you can just search for Elementor Gutenberg block. And the plugin that we want is this one, Elementor blocks for Gutenberg. And this is actually an official plugin written by Elementor itself. So I have this installed and activated already. Now, if we go to Elementor templates and go to my save templates, you can see that I've just created this uh, email opt-in form. Pretty straightforward. And now we're just gonna embed this in a post. Now, once you've got this plugin installed, you'll be able to insert a template anywhere that you can insert a block. So here I am in a post. If I want to insert the template after this opening paragraph, I'm just gonna go add a new block and I'll start searching for Elementor. And this is the new block that's been added by our plugin and it will let you select from all your currently saved templates. So we're gonna choose the email call out. And now that it's loaded, it does look a little bit goofy on the back end, and this may be specific to my theme, I'm not sure, but if you click update and then preview, it looks perfectly normal on the front end. And all your Elementor settings like margin and spacing and things around the section will work just fine as well. So you can set those in Elementor if you want additional spacing for your widget here. And you're not limited to just inserting these in posts. You can use this anywhere in your theme that accepts blocks. And as of WordPress 5.8, that now includes widgetized areas such as your sidebar and your footer. So for example, we could go to customize, widgets, right sidebar, and we could just click here to add a new block, select our Elementor template library, and add our callout template. Now, if you are gonna use Elementor templates in your sidebar, there's an important trick that you need to know because if we scroll down here, you'll see that the layout is completely broken. And I'm gonna show you how to fix that in just a second, but first let's get to this shortcode method. Now for the shortcode method, we are also gonna need a plugin and the plugin we're gonna use is called Insert Pages. It's completely free and what this does is it lets you take the content of any post, page, or custom post type and insert it into another page or anywhere that you can use a shortcode. And this is great for inserting templates into the classic editor, into your sidebar, or into theme hooks where you might not be able to use blocks, but you can easily use, use shortcodes, which I'll show you in a second. So once you install this, you're gonna get access to a shortcode that lets you pull the content using the ID of a post or custom post type, which is exactly what an Elementor template is. So let me show you how to use it. We're gonna go to Elementor templates, and to get the ID of this template, you can hover over it. And if you can see in the bottom left corner of my screen there, it says post equals 612. And that's the unique ID of the post. So we're gonna use that in the shortcode. And the shortcode is pretty simple and I will link it in the video description so you can see the exact formatting of the shortcode. But let me show you how I'd hook this into my theme. My theme allows me to hook all kinds of content into dozens of hook locations throughout my theme. So in this case, let's say I want to hook this email opt-in into my blog page. I've created a hook in my theme, and here's the short code. It's simply insert page equals, and then the ID of the page, which in this case is 612, and display equals content. So we're only gonna pull in the content of the page or post. And I've set this to show after the header and for the display rules, it's only on my blog page. So this is my blog page before, pretty basic. And we're just gonna publish this hook. And now I'll refresh and it pulled it in there. Pretty awesome, right? Next up, let's stick the short code into a sidebar widget and I'll show you how to fix the layout issues that come up when you're gonna use templates in a sidebar. So we're just gonna to go to customize, widgets, right sidebar, and you can either use the block or short code method. We're just gonna use the short code method for now. And you can use a short code block or a text editor block, whatever you want. Uh, but we can just paste our short code in here. And we're gonna have the same issue as with the block, which is to say that the layout is completely broken. And while Elementor does have responsive features that lets the layout adjust for smaller screen sizes, those are based on what's known as a media query, which gets the width of the entire website and determines whether it should show a different layout. But in this case, our website is full width, it's just the container that is smaller, and Elementor has no way of knowing that it's being constrained to maybe a 300 pixel wide widget. So the trick here is actually to create a separate template just for our sidebar. 
So if I go to my saved Elementor templates, basically what I did is I duplicated this template, created a new template for my sidebar. And if we just view this really quick, I made a couple of changes that is gonna make it more mobile friendly. So I stacked the form field and the button on top of each other. I also adjusted the padding margin and the text size. So let's embed this template in the sidebar instead. And I just need to get the ID of this one. And in this case, the ID is 631. So we'll go back here, just change the page number to 631. And now you can see it's embedding our different template, which is mobile friendly, and it looks perfect in the small container. All right, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel because we're gonna have a ton of amazing content coming out that you do not wanna miss. If you have suggestions for a future video, let me know in the comments below. And if you're ready to keep on building, check out this video right over here. Thanks.